what is going on guys it's Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service today we are talking about how to create a cancellation letter right after this thank you for watching this video today please hit that subscribe button and join the lawn crew also make sure that you show that like button some love be sure to check out our lawn care wear shop on Teespring the link is in the description below. You guys are going to love the shirts there. If you enjoy this video, please leave a comment down below. Now let's get back to the video. So in the lawn care industry, we have a lot of recurring work. You have one customer, you may have that customer for 10 years. The thing is, is that sometimes you have to let a customer go. Oh, Joe Blow, you know, I've got to let you go and that's what I'm gonna do click you could do it that way and that's you know okay I prefer to have it in writing so that they have it I have it if I accidentally send them an invoice which hasn't happened but if I did they have it in writing that no I canceled their service you shouldn't be sending this to me and now I'm gonna get really angry Cancellation letters are a big part of growing your business and it seems counterintuitive but it's really true because you're going to have to cancel some customers to get your route density where you want it to be. You're going to have to pull those lines in of your service area. See you're right here this is your service area so you're right in the middle and if your service area is out here and it's kind of like this you know and all kind of spider webby instead of like this where you can hit everybody around there you're you're shooting yourself in the foot and a lot of us don't learn this until we're a year or two into the business and that is the reason we have to have a cancellation letter so I'm gonna go over how to make a cancellation letter what you need to put in there, how to structure your letter so it's professional, it looks good, and there isn't going to be any question that you are canceling their service. So this is my cancellation letter. This is a template. I don't have anybody's information on here, but this is what I use. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to show you how I structure this letter. You can always email me, and I will be happy to send you a copy of this. Just the form letter. It's not going to, it's going to have places where you can fill in your information. I was going to put this up on my website for sale for like two bucks or something. However, to do that, I have to pay money to be able to sell on my website, so I'm really not going to do that. So, if you want this, if you want a form letter, cancellation letter after this video, please go down to the comments section. Let me know that you want this, or you can email me at lansinglawnservice at gmail.com. Again, that is in the description below, and I would be happy to send you a copy of this. All right, so... Obviously, I made this on company letterhead. If you don't have company letterhead, it's super easy to make. You go into a Word document, you put your logo up here, you put your contact information here, and that's it. That's You can make your letterhead like that. It's simple. All right? It's, it's not hard. Next, you're going to say, you know, Dear Johnny Appleseed, I want to thank you. You always want to sandwich it in. You want to sandwich it in. So start off with positive things at the beginning of your letter. Positive. You want to, you want to talk positively to your customer. And then you're going to have the bad news part. All right. I've, I have loved taking care of your lawn over the years and I'm truly saddened that I have to let you go. Okay. There's more to it than that, but you know, you got to get to the sad part. A lot of these customers, you, you grow to really like. I had to let go of a few customers this year that I, I just really liked. 
and enjoyed servicing their property and got along very well with them. They paid on time. They were great customers, but they were 25 minutes away from me and I just can't continue to service those yards and make money. So I had to cut ties with them. It really stunk. I really hated to send these letters out to them, but I had to do it. It had to be done. The next thing you want to do is before you finish your letter, you want to go online to the area of wherever you're canceling this customer. You want to search for other lawn care companies in the area. You want to look at their, their reviews. You want to basically search out a lawn care company for this client. All right, then what you want to do, you want to go to their website if they have a website. If they don't have a website, uh, it's, it's shady already, okay? But go to their whatever they have. If they just have Google reviews, go from that. Then if you feel pretty confident that this, this lawn care company could service your client just as well as you did, call that company up. Ask for the owner. Ask if they're taking on new clients. Then I have some specific things that I ask every lawn care company that I contact to take over a client for me. Number one is, are you taking new customers? That's a big one. If they're not taking new customers, you can't give a customer to them. All right. Are you taking new customers? Number two, do you accept credit cards? That is a huge one for me in my business because a lot of these clients pay with credit card. So it's very important that the continuity of service and care continues with a new lawn care provider. All right, so do they take credit cards? Number three, you wanna pay attention to how they talk to you, how they communicate with you. If they're a little rough around the edges, sometimes that's not too bad, but if they are aloof and they kind of, oh, you know, well, maybe, stuff like that, that's a red flag, okay? That's a red flag to me that I'm not so sure that they're the right person to take care of this former client, all right? Number four, you want to ask them how they communicate to their clients when there is a delay. This is a huge thing for me. In my business, I communicate as often as I can with my clients. I send out renewal letters. I send out vacation letters. I send out all types of communications. When I have a rain delay, I send out an, a mass email. Then I turn around and I send out a mass text because I want to hit everyone. Not all of my clients have email addresses and not all of my clients have cell phones. I know it's weird in today's age, but we have some older clients and they don't text. So, but they do have email to communicate with their grandkids. So you have to really think about all of these things when you're vetting a lawn care company to give one of your clients to. Because when you give a client to someone else, that former client is going to look at you. They're gonna look at me and say, wow, why would he refer me to this jerk? Or this guy's just as good as Lansing Lawn Service was. This is amazing. I am so happy. So you have to think about these things when you are vetting a lawn care company. All right, then you want to, again, the sandwich method, you wanna end by thanking them again for being a good client, for always paying on time if they pay on time. You know, put some specific things in there that you like about them or what, you know, the type of client that they are. And then you have to make sure that it's clear that your relationship business-wise is ending. You have to make that clear, all right? That's what this letter is all about. It has to be crystal clear. But 
your other relationship, whether you have developed kind of a friendship with them or whatever, that doesn't necessarily have to end. If they have a need, they can still feel free to call you if you end this relationship on a good note. And that's what this is intended to do. Then you just say again, thank you so much for being an outstanding client. And I really wish you all the best as you work with the next company, whoever that might be, or whomever you choose to work with. They might may not choose to go with this company. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I do not give this new company any information from this client. None. I am leaving it up to the client to contact the company. And there's a big reason why. Because if I gave this information to this other company, they're going to call this client up and they're going to say, hey, you were just given to me by Lansing Lawn Service and I'm going to start servicing your property. That's out of the blue almost unless they've already gotten this letter. So I never, ever, ever give client information to a new company. I let the client choose whether they want to go with this company or not. And for this company, I put the name of the company, obviously. I put their website, if they have a website. I put their phone number. I also put the owner's name. Because in this letter, you tell the customer that I have personally vetted this lawn care company. And I think they are going to be a good fit for you. You never say, I know they will be a good fit for you. That's bad wording. All right? Because you don't know. You can talk to anyone for any length of time and they could just be blowing smoke up your butt so you have to you have to word it in such a way where you are putting this on them to call this new company but you really think they will be a good fit and that's basically the letter you have to get used to telling clients that you are going to be moving on and it's kind of counterintuitive to the client because their thought process is they have me, I pay them money, they should want to keep me. But they don't understand the logistics and all that goes into lawn care like you and I do. So you have to get used to ending business relationships with clients and hopefully it will turn into growth for your business. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and join the lawn crew. I put videos out like this every week on Friday at 5:30 Eastern Standard Time. And I hope that you guys enjoy these videos. I really enjoy making them. I thank you for all the interaction that you give me, and I am really stoked for what this year is going to bring. Make sure you hit that like button. And as always guys. I will see you. When you contact me. To get your form.